Good afternoon, traders. It is Tuesday, October 29th, 2013, and the U.S. stock market is closed. CNN News had their banner headline today, No End in Sight for Rally? Question mark. I love to see a headline like that. Uh, markets just very, very strong, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average is just a smidgen away from making new all-time highs again. Dow gained 111 points today. I loved it. Nice, steady rally all day long, and we did very well. We didn't have a smashing day in terms of the actual amount of money we made. Uh, we closed out $5,700 $5, in closed out trades, and we're carrying over $7,000 in open trade equity. Now that's real good, but it's not a, a real huge day for us. But you know what I really liked about today had nothing to do with that total amount. Everything that we closed out today and everything that we're carrying into tomorrow, it's all positive. And you know, for a trader, Nirvana is being able to trade with no losses. And it almost never happens, but it happened today. We had no losses. Everything was positive. Anyway, it was an exciting day for me. Let's take a look at those great charts. Okay, here's the Dow Jones Industrial Average right on the threshold of making a new all-time historic high. Uh, Dow went up 111 points today. You know, that's not a record breaker. But what I really liked about the Dow's action today is that kind of was spread out throughout the day. Sometimes we get these moves in the Dow where we'll see the whole darn range of the day made the first 15 minutes or so. And then it just kind of pulls back and drifts sideways for the rest of the day. Today we did have a push at the beginning, but it continued to build strength all day long. And as you can see, it ended almost on its high with you know a, a push right at the end that's a really good sign and uh, I have no idea when this rally will end but I believe it's gonna go for a long time we had a lot of trades today that I could show you as I said before we had no losers so there's a lot of things that I can show I'll show you just a couple of our charts this one is in a market, uh, Sears Holding Corporation. It's been a really nice uh, market for us, SHLD. And this thing, you can see, it's just been kind of trucking along here, not doing too much. And then all of a sudden, today, it really breaks out and get this huge bar on the open. We won't buy a bar opening bar. Uh, because if we tried to get into this, we might get stuck right here on the top. So we gave it, we gave it uh, 15 minutes or so, and then we jumped into it right here. This is a pretty scary place to buy. You can see how high we were uh, above, you know, the, the, the range that had been in before. But we traded the system. We jumped into there, and man, this thing kept just kept going uh, after pulling back just a little bit. And we're holding, I think, about $2,500 in Sears Holding Corporation. I'll show you another uh, good market today. Actually, this one we've gotten into yesterday. This is in uh, TQNT, which is Triquint Semiconductors. And we had jumped into this trade right at the end of the day yesterday. And that's always kind of a little bit unnerving. I will tell you, though, I've done a lot of studies of this, and trades that are entered at the end of the day are the most reliable uh, w with our system. You know, take a breakout right at the end of the day, there's a better chance it'll follow through than a 
breakout was taken at, toward the beginning of the day. So anyway, we jumped into this, not sure what was going to happen the day. We see this nice big gap up. And this gap up was so big that we didn't get out of triquint semiconductors. We're still holding this. And again, we're holding about $2,800 or something in open trade equity in TQNT. So it looks really good. Anyway, great Tuesday. This is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday.